welcome to the eighth session of transport layer under vtu e shikshana program in the last session we discussed connection oriented transport tcp segment structure and flow control in this session we will understand what is tcp connection management coming to the tcp connection management tcp is a unicast connection oriented protocol before either end can send data to other the connection must be established between them tcp is a unicast and connection oriented protocol tcp uses three way handshake and three way handshake or tcp three way handshake is a, a process which is used in tcp ip network to make a connection between server and the client so because of its management of connection state tcp is considerably more complicated protocol than udp that is it has to maintain information about the connection kept by both the endpoints so tcp is more complicated than udp and udp is connection less because in order to send data no need to establish the connection udp is a connection less protocol and it is not reliable protocol udp is a connection less uh, that involves no connection establishment or termination and uh, uh, coming to the uh, tcp connection management in tcp connection management three way handshake is used to establish the connection it is a three step process that requires both the client and the server to exchange synchronization and acknowledgement packets before the real data communication process starts the three way handshake process is designed in such a way that both ends help you to initialize negotiate and separate tcp socket connections at the same time it allows you to transfer multiple tcp socket connections in both direction at the same time before establishing the connection you have to exchange some messages between uh, two host that is you have to send the connection request after that you should get the connection uh, reply uh, then you can send the uh, data if there is no data to send you have to disconnect the connection by uh, sending the disconnection request for that you should get the disconnection reply coming to the tcp connection establishment and termination in tcp connection a, a four tuple is used that is a tcp connection is defined to be a four tuple uh, consisting of uh, two ip addresses and two port numbers socket consist of ip address and port number in uh, last session uh, in the previous sessions we have discussed about the sockets it is a combination of ip address and port number and the tcp connection is defined to be a four tuple consisting of two ip addresses and two port numbers two ip addresses means uh, one ip address uh, of uh, uh, sender and another ip address is of receiver and two port number that is you can also consider as source and destination source ip address and destination ip address and source port number and destination port number tcp connection is defined to be a four tuple and it is a pair of endpoints or sockets uh, where each endpoint is identified by an ip address and port number pair endpoints or socket Uh, both are one and the same socket consist of uh, ip address and port number in order to reach the uh, host ip address is required and in order to uh, reach the uh, process port number is required so every device in the system is identified by a ip address and ip address is uh, unique next uh, coming to the port number port number is Uh, used to identify the process or application uh, a running uh, application is nothing but the process for http port number is 
80. Like that, uh, for uh, several application, different port numbers will be there. And there are two types of ports. One is ephemeral port. Another one is well-known port. FTP, HTTP, SMTP. These are all uh, well-known ports. They uh, use the number between 0 to 1023. And a connection typically goes through three phases. Uh, those are uh, setup phase, data transfer phase, and tear down phase. Setup is used to establish the connection. After establishing the connection, you can transfer data. And after the data is transferred, if there is no data to send, then you can tear down the connection. In the last session, uh, we have seen a TCP segment structure. In TCP segment structure, uh, RST, SYN, and pin bits. Uh, we have seen those bits are used for connection setup and uh, tear down. Okay, there are six uh, bits uh, in a flag field. There are six uh, bits uh, which are those that is URG, uh, urgent bit, ACK bit, push bit, uh, RST, SYN, and FIN. These bits are used for connection setup and uh, connection uh, tear down. Setup and tear down. And uh, the TCP message type, the TCP uses uh, some messages like uh, SYN. Uh, it is uh, used to initiate and establish a connection. It also helps you to synchronize uh, sequence numbers between devices and uh, uh, ACK. Uh, uh, that is, uh, helps to confirm uh, to the other side that it has uh, received the SY SYN and uh, uh, SYN ACK uh, that is a SYN message uh, from local device and ACK of the earlier packet and uh, FIN. FIN used to terminate a connection. So in the figure you can see SYN is there and uh, SYN plus ACK is there and uh, FIN message FIN message is uh, used to terminate a connection and uh, this is synchronous uh, message that is. Uh, uh, SYN indicates uh, synchronous sequence number, uh, which informs server that the client is likely to start communication and uh, uh, with what sequence number it uh, starts segment with. So uh, the, the difficult part in TCP connection establishment is uh, uh, TCP implementation is handling all of the transition between and among these uh, faces correctly. So some of the difficulty in creating a robust TCP implementation is handling all of these transitions between and among these faces correctly. So uh, it is uh, complex when compared to UDP. Uh, you have to maintain the records of uh, all the transaction. Uh, this is some. This is uh, somewhat. Uh, 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 hectic and uh, uh, there are uh, three steps in establishing the connection in the figure you can see uh, active opener is considered as a client and passive open open is considered as a server and first in the first step uh, client wants to establish a connection with the server so it sends a segment with syn it sends a segment with syn and syn is nothing but synchronous sequence number okay uh, this is what the first uh, step in uh, the first uh, the step uh, that is uh, um, the client establishes a connection with uh, server it sends a segment with syn and inform the uh, server and inform the server about the client and uh, the client should uh, start communication with uh, uh, what should it be its sequence number okay this is what the first step okay uh, see uh, the simple uh, steps uh, to remember the tcp connection establishment and closes first you have to send the syn for that you will get uh, uh, sequence number and uh, acknowledgement and uh, next uh, the client acknowledge, uh, acknowledges the uh, uh, response of the server and uh, uh, 
establish uh, connection is established uh, okay first you have to send the uh, uh, syn afterwards you are going to get the acknowledgement and uh, in the next uh, step that is in the third step the client acknowledges the response of the server and uh, they both create a stable connection uh, uh, okay uh, this is how the connection is established and the data is uh, transferred and to uh, disconnect the connection you have to send the uh, fin message okay in the final part client acknowledges the response of server see here to establish a connection uh, the following events usually takes place the first is called active opener that is uh, a client is a active opener and the server is the passive opener okay uh, why server is called as a passive opener uh, because it uh, it will be in a passive state whenever the request come it will become uh, active so uh, passive opener is the server the active opener normally called as client sends a syn segment syn segment is nothing but synchronous sequence number synchronous sequence number is nothing but syn uh, SY, uh, the client sends a syn segment the, that is a tcp ip packet with the syn bit field turned on in the tcp header in the tcp segment structure we have seen uh, there are different uh, uh, fields in the uh, flag uh, there are six types of uh, flag that is uh, uh, in those uh, syn fin and rst is used for connection uh, establishment and tear down next specifying the port number of the peer to which it want to connect and the client's initial sequence number uh, uh, the client's initial sequence number is called as isnc this is segment uh, one so in the first step client uh, wants to establish a connection with the server so it sends a segment with syn uh, which informs the server that client is likely to start communication okay uh, this is very simple in the first step we have to uh, send a syn uh, message which informs server that the client is likely to start the communication and in step two the server responds with its own syn segment containing its initial sequence number uh, this is called as initial sequence number of the server. This is segment 2. Here initial sequence number of the client. This is segment 1. Uh, the server also acknowledges the client uh, SYN by acknowledging uh, initial sequence number of the client plus 1. Initial sequence number of the uh, client plus 1. Here see initial sequence number of client plus uh, 1. Uh, a yeah, syn consumes one sequence number and it is retransmitted if lost see if uh, the uh, synchronization message is lost again you have to send that uh, message until you get the replay from the server continuously uh, you can uh, keep sending okay so in the second step the server responds to the uh, client in the second step the server responds to the client with syn ack signal uh, bits set that is the acknowledgement uh, signifies the response of a segment it received and uh, syn signifies uh, with what sequence number it is likely to start the segment with see here syn plus uh, ack and sequence number uh, of initial sequence number of the server and acknowledgement is initial sequence number of the uh, client plus one this is how uh, the server will respond to the client request and uh, at the final stage that is in the third step the client must acknowledge this syn from the server by acknowledging initial sequence number plus one this is segment three see uh, this is segment uh, three again the client acknowledges uh, initial sequence number of the server plus uh, one uh, this is response of the client uh, for the server uh, replay 
that is in the initial uh, part client acknowledges the response of server and they both established a reliable connection okay uh, for a data transfer this is what the third step in third step the client acknowledges the response of the server the client uh, acknowledges the response of the uh, server and they both create a stable connection and the data transfer will begin these three segment complete the connection establishment and this is often called three way handshake so uh, the connection establishment uh, uh, part is very simple and it has three steps that's why it is called as three way handshake in the first step the client establishes a connection with the server in the first step the client establishes a connection with the server and it sends a segment with syn it, it sends a segments with uh, syn and also initial sequence uh, number of the client will be there and in second step server responds to the client's request uh, with syn uh, plus ack okay uh, next in the third step the uh, client uh, acknowledges the response of the server in the third step the client acknowledges the uh, response of the server sequence number is initial sequence number of client plus one initial sequence number of server plus one okay uh, this is initial sequence number of client plus one and initial uh, sequence number of uh, server plus uh, one so uh, in the final step the client acknowledges the response of the server and they both create a stable connection afterwards you can send the uh, data if there is no data to send then you can terminate the uh, connection okay the site that sends the first syn is set to uh, perform an active open and uh, uh, this is typically a client the other side which receives this syn and sends the next syn performs the passive open it is mostly uh, called as a server this is uh, uh, commonly called as a server first uh, uh, the client will send the uh, request to the uh, server that's why it is called as active open and, uh, and uh, on the other side the server will receive uh, that request and uh, uh, sends the acknowledgement uh, that is called as a passive open see after receiving the uh, request from the client the server the server uh, will uh, respond with its sequence number and uh, the server will respond with its uh, sequence number so here you are going to send uh, the syn bit uh, and the sequence number is initial sequence number uh, of a client and uh, for uh, that you are going to get the acknowledgement that is uh, initial sequence uh, number of client plus one and uh, the server sequence number initial sequence number of the server and you are going to replay uh, initial sequence number of client plus one and initial sequence number of server plus one and uh, this uh, syn is synchronous uh, bit that is synchronous sequence number syn is synchronous uh, sequence uh, number this uh, uh, is a simple step to establish the connection and it is called as three way handshake and uh, uh, the first uh, who sends syn is called as active opener and uh, uh, the other end is called as a passive opener because it receives this syn and sends the next uh, syn that is called as replay or um, acknowledgement okay it is uh, called as server and uh, coming to the connection termination the figure also shows how a tcp connection is closed uh, here you can see how the connection is terminated uh, when there is no data to send so uh, here and the figure also shows how a tcp connection is closed it is also called as a, uh, terminated or cleared uh, either end can initiate a close operation and simultaneous uh, closes are also supported but are rare see either a client can uh, send a disconnection request or a server can send a disconnection request and simultaneously both can send but it occurs 
in a very rare situation usually a, a close operation starts with an application indicating its desire to terminate its uh, connection example using the close system call and the closing tcp initiates the close operation by sending a fin segment so uh, a tcp segment with the fin bit field set see a fin is used for connection disconnection for um, fin is used for terminating a connection and uh, uh, syn ack is a syn message for a local device and ack for the earlier packet and fin is used for uh, terminating a connection right and the concept the uh, closes that is the uh, complete uh, concept closes uh, that is uh, the final segment contains an ack for the lost fin note that if a fin is lost it is retransmitted until an ack for it is received so uh, again uh, see for uh, connection termination you have to send the fin bit and the complete close operation occurs after both sides have completed the uh, close so the connection uh, closes happen when uh, a, a disconnection replay is received uh, by the client or by the server you can close the connection at uh, both the ends the complete close operation occurs after both sides have completed the close and the tcp message types uh, you have already understood what is syn ack syn ack and fin fin is used to terminate a connection and uh, usually a close operation starts with an application indicating its desire to terminate its uh, connection for that a system call close is used and the closing tcp initiates the close operation by sending a fin segment okay and uh, coming to the active closer and the passive closer here the active closer sends a fin segment uh, specifying the current sequence number the receiver expect to see in figure uh, the letter k indicates that see in a figure uh, the letter k and for uh, uh, disconnection request the acknowledgement is k plus one uh, right and uh, this is the sequence number of the uh, server and uh, again uh, the fin bit from the server side you are going to uh, send that is uh, the passive closer responded by acknowledging value k plus one uh, to indicate its successful receipt of the active closers fin that is uh, finish bit at this point the application is notified that the other end of its connection has performed a close so typically this results in the application initiating its own close operation so the passive closer then effectively becomes another active closer and sends its own uh, fin uh, the sequence number is equal to l see the sequence number is equal to uh, yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, it becomes again active uh, closer. See, the passive closer then effectively becomes another active closer and uh, sends its own FIN. The sequence number is equal to L. Yeah. So, to complete the close, the final segment contains an ACK for the last fin. Note that if a fin is lost it is retransmitted until an ack for it is received if uh, the fin bit is lost uh, if this bit is lost you have to uh, send again uh, until an acknowledgement is uh, received from the uh, other end so uh, like this if uh, any message is uh, lost during uh, transmission you have to resend until you get the uh, request 
uh, in simple terms you will send the connection request afterwards you will get the connection replay the connection replay may be positive or negative if it is negative again you should uh, send the request until you get the positive replay when you get the positive replay the connection is established and you can send the data and if there is no data to send you can uh, send the disconnection request for that you should get the disconnection replay if uh, the request is lost you should send the request again and again until you get the uh, replay after getting the disconnection replay the connection is terminated at both the ends so uh, uh, to uh, disconnect the connection a four way wave is used that is while it takes three segments to establish a connection it takes four to terminate the uh, connection and the four steps are the client sends a segment with fin bit is equal to 1 to the server and the server sends an acknowledgement segment in return and the server sends a shutdown segment with fin is equal to fin is equal to 1 to the client and the client sends an acknowledgement segment in return the client sends an acknowledgement uh, uh, for this uh, message so this is a four step the client sends an acknowledgement segment in return at this point all the resources in the uh, two hosts are deallocated yeah. thank you